you are trusted by direct relief, you're going to have a, a, a partner you can't get anywhere else. When Sean Penn's core organization helps run coronavirus testing centers in Southern California, they use personal protective equipment provided by Direct Relief. Direct Relief also services federally qualified health centers here and hospitals. We're supporting hospitals in Los Angeles, UCLA, Cedar sinai USC, and others who have reached out to Direct Relief because they were lacking protective gear for their hospital staff. Thomas Tighe is CEO of Direct Relief. We spoke well, via Zoom. Direct Relief is not, we're not political. We have no religious affiliation. We don't receive any government funding. So it's just a humanitarian group that's trying to do right by the people. They've already provided more than 3.3 million masks and more than 2.7 million gloves, more than any other nonprofit. The scale of this and just the demand is you just extraordinary and unique in modern history. Their Santa Barbara warehouse now serves 150 countries and all 50 states. What are some of the sort of most important lessons you've learned uh, through this process? You know, you can't over-prepare. After California's devastating wildfires, Direct Relief began to manufacture its own N95 mask, and they stockpiled them in a way a for-profit business usually couldn't afford to. Businesses don't like to make things that they're not going to sell mm. because they're taking up money and space to store it. When the coronavirus outbreak started in Wuhan, China, Chinese officials reached out to Direct Relief for immediate help. And they weren't the only ones. This one is simultaneously occurring everywhere in the world. So I think that spike of demand for basically the same items like PPE. Celebrities started reaching out to help. Come join us and please donate to Direct Relief while you're at it just stepped up on their own. Thank you for doing this to help us raise funds for direct relief. We're Julia Louis-Dreyfus hosting a virtual Seinfeld reunion with Jason Alexander. We doing this for you. DJ Khaled organizing a virtual concert featuring Alicia Keys and Robin Thicke. I appreciate the love, A-Rod, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Let's rock. Let's rock. Sean Diddy Combs organizing a virtual dance party, including Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez. That's not kind of a sphere that we typically roll in, but boy, it's, it's powerful. But Tyke says the most powerful thing is the stories of the first responders who are actually wearing their PPE. So this is the PPE that we're provided with when we get on shift. We have boot covers, a gown, a shield, and then I'll wear my N95 mask. The only fear I have is that I don't want to be sick because I want to be helpful. It sounds trite, but that it's in inspiring to see people step up. Um, that's heroism, right? You know, it's not what you're expected to do. It's what you're unexpected to do. So many heroes. For more information on how you can help or get help, go to directrelief.org. I love seeing those celebrities step up and use the power of their voices to bring people to the table on that. Nice and raise job, Alex. millions well and millions of dollars in the process.